Greetings and welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, I received a disturbing call this morning from my friend. She has been feeling feverish. She's been feeling, having body ache and flu-like symptoms ever since she took the COVID vaccine. What? My friend? Guys, let's prepare something like this catfish soup loaded with herbs and go visit her. I will be taking you guys along to see my friend and I know she's going to enjoy this food and this food is going to nurse her back into good health by the grace of God. Come with me to the kitchen guys and let's get cooking. So for the catfish soup, guys, we've got our catfish. This catfish was bought live, killed, mm, and washed, uh -huh. and refrigerated. Uh -huh. So today, I, I just de defrost it. I'm adding some salt. I'm going to add in some warm water. Then I will set that aside. I will be introducing to you guys the rest of my ingredients when someone is not feeling well guys this is the kind of food you will prepare for them because it is it got a lot of liquid in it okay they just use their spoon and they eat it even if they don't have appetite this soup will give them that desired appetite okay so guys here yeah, i will just soak my fish and set it aside for my ingredients guys i have got the four corner spice i've got the black pepper some chili flakes some jangsa some grain of salem i've got some calabash nutmeg some salt and my no cube this this uh yeah also i've got some red bell pepper garlic some ginger some onions okay yes guys i will also be using some some scent leaves they are very potent herbs when someone is sick i've got also some lemon grass guys lemon grass is a must have for this recipe i also have some leafy greens to garnish my soup so guys before i blend my spices i want to toast them on a pan just to release the flavors that are packed in this in these herbs okay these are spices but you can also call them herbs my 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 friend is a very special person to me when she is sick it's like i am sick in this life guys we meet a lot of people in the journey of life but there are only a few who leave a mark on us my friend is one of such person who has been able to make a positive impact on my life we have been a part of each other's lives for the longest time since I arrived here in South Africa. Our friendship is still developing. Okay? You keep learning people. You keep studying. Even in marriage, you keep learning the person every day. It's like an open book. It's unending. So, guys, after I have toasted my spices, I am just removing the shell of the calabash nutmeg. Okay? This is an African nutmeg, guys. Not the usual nutmeg we use in baking cake. Okay? Then I will just let it cool and then I'm going to blend it with my blender. You can use a mortar if you don't have a blender. I will blend it as fine, as powdery as I can get. Oh, guys, I am indeed a very lucky person. I have been blessed with the most wonderful people in my life, and that includes my friend. Do you want to know who my friend is? Wait until the end of this video. I am going to show you my friend, but with her permission, okay? After blending my spices, I am adding in a little bit of crayfish. Guys, I love the taste of crayfish in my soups, okay? And I'm going to blend that as well together with the other spices to incorporate well. And to you, my dear friend, whatever you do, remember that you are not alone. No matter what happens, 
I've always got your back, okay? So, guys, now my spices are ready. Let's begin the cooking, okay? But before that, let's puree the red bell pepper and the onions. You can add chili here, but I, I'm omitting the chili. I would put it as it is in the pot because... I don't know who else will want to enjoy this meal and maybe that person doesn't like chili so adding chili to your food is always optional okay so for the bell pepper and the onions I'm not blending it into a fine paste I will leave it as coarse as I can get okay so that it will be able to be it can be visible when you cook the food now guys I am going to boil my lemongrass this this um this lemongrass is so medicinal when someone is sick okay especially when they have a little bit of fever or flu-like symptoms boil your lemongrass it's very 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 important you can sip it as it is like a tea with a little bit of honey or you can cook it in the soup like you see me do it adds a lot of flavor to your soup and it also adds taste to your soup okay guys after boiling my lemongrass i am going in with my fish this food doesn't take time to cook just put everything in your pot cover it and let it steamer and voila you can enjoy it with rice plantain or any staple of your choice now guys you can see my catfish is a little bit hard okay that is because previously i washed it with warm water it is very important to wash your catfish with a little bit of warm water to keep it together then add in your peppers add in your spices cover it and let it cook okay guys Oh, my friend is not feeling well. But I know that you have always been a fighter. So I know what you will get through this. Don't lose that strength. Don't let go of that bravery. I know you will pull through. I know you will pull through. And I know God is going to revive you again, my dear friend. I want to seize the opportunity to thank my friend for always being there for me. This is somebody that if I were in her shoes, she would do the same for me, guys. She would do an even much more for me. So what is this? This is nothing. Let's continue the cooking. So guys, now I'm adding my salt. I'm also going to add in my milk cube for taste. Then I am going to add in much water. When you are cooking food for an invalid, you put enough water. Don't cook dry food. You cannot cook thin like a roux for someone who is sick. You cannot cook thin like, uh, what can I say? So, something like a goosey pudding, cocky beans, those kind of things. No, 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 no. When somebody is not feeling well, cook them something which has enough liquid. Because the body needs the liquid, okay? The body needs herbs. The body needs those... Uh, helps okay to revive the body so now add enough water cover your pot let it steamer for just about 10 minutes until the fish is cooked through then your food is ready oh guys while i am cooking this food i had called my friend to tell her that i will be coming but guess what being who she is a hustler just like me guys she is in her shop can you believe this my friend is in her shop attending to customers even though she is not feeling well so guys i will be taking you guys with me to her shop in brownfontaine my friend is a strong woman okay she is a strong woman she has gone to work even though she's not she owns a very big supermarket she sells african food stops okay if you want yam if you want cocoa yam if you want plantain if you want dry fish if you want all the spices you saw me 
prepare this soup with she has them in her shop so you can visit her shop i will leave her number in the description box if you are in south africa you can visit her she can even ship your your she can even uh, send your things by courier if you are in cape town eastern cape wherever she can ship those things to you okay i'm going to leave her her, her phone number at the description box so you can get hold of her if you want any african spice or any african food stuff so guys there it is our soap is almost ready now i'm just going to taste for salt okay adding in my leafy greens to garnish it once i put in my leafy greens guys i'm going to turn off my stove because the leaves are not supposed to cook Our food is ready guys I know for sure that my friend would enjoy my food because she loves my cooking okay so guys after serving this food after dishing this food you come with me to see my friend okay come with me let's go to Bramfontein to meet my friend <laughs> Voila! Here is my friend, guys. Her name is Corinne. Tassi Corinne. <laughs> guys, meet my beautiful friend in her shop, okay? I told you she will enjoy my food, and she is indeed enjoying my food. Okay, guys, that will be all from me today. Until next time, guys, when I come again with another yummy recipe, I want you all to stay healthy. Stay safe and bye-bye.